How's it going guys? Today we're closing down the driveway nursery. It's kind of a relief, but also a bittersweet moment. Um, we've been doing this now, this is our third year doing it, and we've enjoyed it every minute, but it's gotten to be um, put on, it's been put on the back burner this season and hasn't been given the attention that it really should have been given. So we're gonna close it down. It's been fun. It's been cool. It's been really nice to be able to meet a lot of people in our community and in our neighborhood, but it's not getting the attention that it deserves from us. So we're gonna shut it down and I think we're just gonna give all the plants that we do have for free. I'm gonna put the table out in the driveway and put a free sign and just let people take whatever plants they wanna take and hopefully by the end of the day or early tomorrow that they'll just be all gone. One of the reasons that we are closing it down though the main reason is because I'm trying to focus more on creating YouTube content for you guys and between that and working the flower farm here and my regular job, the driveway nursery just kind of got neglected. We didn't put out too much this year. Um, I didn't really stay on top of it. I should have been succession sowing and propagating and doing all these things, but I just didn't. So we're going to shut it down and I think that people, oh, I know people will enjoy the free plants. Um, we're still super early into the season but um, it's just taking up the driveway and we are not doing a very good job of maintaining it. So let's go ahead and go move the table out and put the plants out there with a free sign and we'll see who grabs a few plants. This is the area. This is where I've been propagating everything and grew everything on and then I put things out. We've actually sold a lot of stuff this year, um, but I've totally not kept up on it. So I still have some Helen Von Stein lambs here that um, I propagated that are ready to go and some osteosternum. This is a purple variety. So I might just pop these guys out into some of these little containers right here. I have some poppies right here. That, I mean, look, they, they just look terrible. I've been terrible at taking care of them. They've gone water. None of this has gotten fertilizer. Some tomatoes and they're so tiny. Um, I have three different dahlias, which I already have some of them on the property. So I don't think I'm gonna grow anymore. But this is called City Lights. It's a black one with yellow blooms. Um, here is a whole tray of Gomfrina that did absolutely nothing. They might have died because I didn't take care of them. Yeah, and then some Lysianthus and some Dusty Miller. I might go pop this one out into the landscape because it's the new look variety. And I'm really enjoying it a lot. Um, back here is some more tomatoes a aster i have like a random japanese maple right here tomatoes a couple creeping jenny and then a 72 cell count that i've just totally neglected and then if we come this way i have two random willow trees a whole bunch of scabiosa in here some lambs here some japanese anemones some more creeping jenny i mean some succulents some mums peonies a dwarf butterfly bush, um, a little bit of mint, some squash, um, a couple artichoke plants. Down there's a few things, some more peonies, hydrangeas, still tons of tomatoes. These ones actually are further along, but you can see that they like, they need to be fed. Peonies and a random rose. So I think what I'm gonna do is text my neighbor and see what she wants to add to her garden from this. And then I will move this table right over here to the end of the driveway and I'll put a free sign with all of the plants on it.
Okay guys, so everything is already out. We've already had people stop by before we even finished putting things out. You can see there's holes kind of everywhere now. So peonies are out, butterfly bush, some creeping jenny, some Japanese anemones. You can see some of those are gone. Um, I had a bunch of these guys. I can't remember the name of them. And I think there's only three left now. Still lots of tomatoes, a couple squash and a mint plant are gone. More tomatoes, some osteospermum. This is a purple variety. And a few of those are already gone. More tomatoes back there. Scabiosa, two dahlias, um, some poppies. And then I have one willow tree. And then this guy that doesn't really look like, look like he's doing too well. And I think that, that is about it. I did a terrible job this year at advertising these plants for sale, so it is what it is. Um, we've already had lots of people stop by, which has been really cool. Um, I've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying today meeting more people. Um, it's been really cool, but still kind of a sad thing. Um, it'll be nice to have the driveway back though, so bittersweet. Uh, we've had, I think, four people already come by and grab some plants, so it's been good. You can see the tables there. There's lots of holes. And I think, you know, well, I know people will appreciate getting some plants for free. It's a smaller town. It's definitely a poorer town that we live in. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm already waiting for him to build me another box. He built me one yesterday. He needs to build me one more. So one of the good things that is coming out of this, I guess, is look at how much fence I have now. We know what I'm going to do with this fencing space. So I'm going to take some plants and I'm going to make myself an espalier in this area. I've now become officially obsessed with espalier since Janie came up here. So this is going to be a beautiful long espalier of who knows what I'm going with this year or what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I think that'll be really pretty. That's why I should have Artichoke. <laughs> How big does a peony get? It's not that big. Uh, this tall okay. and about that wide. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's big. Okay, you guys, so this is it. See, there's our sign. Um, pretty much half of everything is gone. There's a few empty spots still. But pretty much everything has been touched. Um, not the tomatoes so much. Those guys haven't really disappeared. I still have a full tray, a little more than half a tray, and then less than half a tray. All of the squash has pretty much disappeared. Lots of the artichokes have disappeared. A ton of the flowers have disappeared. We had a tree that's gone. The two willow trees are gone. Um, I think we had like eight or nine peonies. Those are gone. We had three dahlias. That's gone. I'm kind of surprised that the butterfly bush is still here. And I can't even remember what else, but it's been good. I've been watching the cameras all day and lots of people have come and just kind of grabbed a few things. So it's been really cool. And it's kind of nice to see how much has actually disappeared and I'm hoping by tomorrow everything else is gone so I can get this table out of the driveway and then start working on the next project. Well, after a day and a half, this is all that is left. A couple of the Japanese anemones, the lisianthus, a few scabiosa, still lots of the poppies because they actually look the worst. One lamb's ear and a single tray of tomatoes. Most of the cherry tomatoes are gone. Um, I think that there's only a couple cherry tomatoes, two? Wait, where? Nope. All, all the cherry tomatoes are gone. And all that's left are some of the Bonnie's Best and the Thorburn. So that's it. So hopefully by tomorrow, middle of the day, those will all be gone and then we can clear out the driveway. So I'm out here doing the last little bit of cleanup for the last, I don't know, two trays that are out here, two and a half trays. And someone pulled up and they wanted to say thank you for 
me giving away the free plants, which was really, really cool. Uh, and then we also had another person who had stopped by a second time also, who um, dropped us off a gift, which is, it was a handmade gift, which was really, really sweet. And I'm gonna show you guys that in a different video because it's pretty cool. They made these pot holders that go on the wall to be able to hold terracotta pots. Um, yeah, so I think that that'll be a really cool video to show you guys that. Um, and the fact that they made them is even cooler. So, um, it was good. I'm happy that it's over. Kind of sad that it's coming to an end, though. It was cool to do it the last couple of years, but uh, I'm done with it this year. So, I don't know if we're going to keep doing it next year. I'm not going to say that we're not. Uh, we may do it. We may not. But, yeah. So, I think that that's going to be it for this video, especially because the train is coming. So, thanks for hanging out with me, and thanks for always... Thanks for always hanging out with me, guys. I, I love reading your comments and hanging out with you. So bye, guys.